Hello, how are you? My name is Soge Chuku. I'm so happy to be talking to you today. How are you doing? I'm going to be sharing a wonderful topic with you. The topic, this topic really helped me in my weight loss journey. That is getting the right mindset to lose weight and to stay healthy. Stay with me. results you eat and go to exercise like eating without you know checking the, the portion or what you are eating and expect to lose weight or even eating and not exercising and still expect to lose weight or improve your health it's not possible I read an article about successful people you know what they do that other people don't do he said that successful people are in control of their lives. They possess the willpower, the self-discipline, and emotional intelligence that help them to design the kind of life they want to be proud about. So because of this, they have understanding of how their minds work to create the kind of life they want. So this brings me to, to different levels of your mind or to different you know, aspects of your mind. Your conscious mind and your subconscious mind. Your conscious mind is that aspect of your mind that helps you figure out what you want to do. Now I want to lose weight. Now I have to go to the gym. Now I have to make plans. Now I have to, you know, you know, diet. That is your conscious mind helping you to do that. But that gets the work done just like one to five percent. The main work is not done by the conscious mind. It has figured out what to do, but it doesn't do the main work. Then we come to the second aspect of mind, the subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind is that aspect of your mind that now implements all the things that the conscious mind have mapped out, have known, have thought, have planned, and bring them alive. Alright, our focus on this video is going to be on the subconscious mind because it's our subconscious mind that gives us the results. So we're going to be focusing on our subconscious mind. I'm going to be giving you three important factors that will help you engage your subconscious mind to achieve the desired result for your weight loss and your healthy living. One of it is picture. One thing is that God has given us our five senses to help condition our mind. Our five senses have their ways into our mind. So picture. What I did that time I was trying to lose weight was I had this picture, my wedding picture, you know, in my sitting room. Each time I tell myself I want to look like this, I want to be like this again. And I kept on working and I kept the dress. I said one day I will wear this dress again. And I did. I kept on looking. I kept on my mind. I was I, I constantly was feeding on my mind. Telling my mind that I am going to be like this. I am going to be like this. So by the time you are doing it, you are doing it constantly before you know it. You know, it's have created an image in your mind. And you begin to work. You, you begin to see results. You begin to see yourself walk in that light to achieve that particular picture that your mind has. Then another thing I did again was action. I set a goal. I wanted to lose weight. It could be like 40 kg or 30 kg that you want to lose. Then you don't have to like take it as in 40 kg, I want to lose 40 kg now, in the now, and you are running with 40 kg at a time, you are going to be discouraged because it is not possible. You are going to sit down, create, you know, achievable, set achievable goals for yourself, sub goals that will help you achieve your 40 kg goals. That is what I did. I sat down, I broke mine into weeks, 
instead of going like I want to achieve 40 kg, I broke mine down in two weeks. I told myself that it is possible for me to lose 3 kg in a week. If I should actually lose 0 0.5 kg every day, that it is possible for me to lose 1 kg in two days. I did and it worked. There's something about success. When I did that first week and achieved it, you know, I was so energized, I was so happy to go into the, the, the second week. Even though there were distractions here and there, sometimes I would want to eat, sometimes I would want to relax, not go for my exercise, but all those are mere distractions. That is where that self-discipline comes into play. Self-discipline that this is what I want to do. This is what I want to achieve. When you keep on working against all those, you know, distractions, before you know it, it is no more a struggle for you. You begin to live it as a lifestyle and you begin to see desired results. That was what I did. Then another thing I did was I was talking. Talking words. Words are powerful. Words are spiritual. You know, just like your eyes and your, your, your other senses have impact on your mind, so is your word. So powerful. That time I would pick up food to eat. I would verbally tell myself, okay, you don't need this food. Remember what you are working on. You don't need to eat this amount of food. It's too much. I will have to go and cut it down. Or sometimes, you know, it could be like cookie, it could be like cake, it could be like ice cream. I'll tell myself, you don't need this ice cream. Remember what you are working on. When I tell myself, like I am talking to myself verbally, my husband would like, is it food you are talking to like that or something? I say, yes, it's food I'm talking to. It's for my own good. So it does not matter what anybody around you says at that point in time. Have your eyes fixed on the mark. Have your eyes fixed on your target. So I did it. I kept on talking and it helped me. So you can even do it. It could be like you waking up to go and exercise and your body is telling you, no, not today. No, tell your body, I need to do this exercise for my own good. I am doing it for me. So that is it. By the time you are doing all these things, you are conditioning your mind. They are all recording in your subconsciousness. A time comes where you do not have to struggle about all these things. It becomes a lifestyle for you. That is where I am now. This is a lifestyle for me. I am swimming in it effortlessly, enjoying my life. And that is what I want you to do. Then again, you have to constantly tell your mind that I am doing this for my own good. Do it first of all for yourself. You know, when you lose weight, when, when you add weight, you have a way of, you know, tampering with your self-esteem. It could make you have low self-esteem. So you don't have to do that. So you tell your mind, I don't need this. I am doing this for myself. I am going to eat in this proportion because of myself. I am going to go out and exercise because of myself. Remind yourself about the several health benefits of what you are doing. How it's going to help improve your life. And you'll be so amazed the remarkable results you're going to have. You'll be so happy when you see yourself hitting your goals, achieving them, and having great results. I am so happy how I am now. No food in the world will ever stop me because I like how I'm looking. Often time I tell people that the greatest gift you can give to yourself and to your loved one is your health. Your health. Make it your priority. Make it your priority. Make a lifetime commitment to live healthy. Make a lifetime commitment to exercise. It does not really necessarily mean you going to the gym. Just little, little exercise. You could be doing your house chores. It could be you taking a walk in your neighborhood. It just, it could be you moving the parts of your body at a time. I hope this video inspires you. I hope you like this video. If you do, help me share this video. Like it. Comment in the comment section. Subscribe, subscribe to me and click the notification bell so that you'll be the first to get my video each time it drops. See my next video.